Hey, what? All right, so the compression and expansion of the longitudinal waves cause the erratic oscillation, you can see it there, of the neighboring particles. <sighs> yes, what is it? What? What is it? Can I play with it? No, you can't play with it. You won't enjoy it on as many levels as I do. I love the colors, children. After evaluating millions of pieces of data in the blink of an eye, the Gambletron 2000 says the winner is... Cincinnati by 200 points! Why, you worthless hunk of junk! The burglar trips the alarm, the house raises from its foundations, and runs down the street and around the corner to safety. <laughs> well, the, the real humans won't, uh, won't, won't burn quite so fast in there. <laughs> Bye. Cool, high-tech security system. Next question. Yes, over here. Hi, hi. In episode BF12, you were battling barbarians while riding a winged Appaloosa. Yet in the very next scene, my dear, you're clearly atop a winged Arabian. Please to explain it. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, whenever you notice something like that, a wizard did it. I see. All right. Yes. But in episode AG4. Wizard. Ah, uh, for Glavin Alpha. Well, it should be obvious to even the most dim-witted individual who holds an advanced degree in hyperbolic topology that Homer Simpson has stumbled into the third dimension. Sorry. Hamburger earmuffs! Well, well I suppose that would qualify. Thanks, sucker! Well, all right, just stay calm, Frinky. These babies will be in the stores while he's still grappling with the pickle matrix. Glavin, Glavin! How much time do we have, Professor? Well, according to my calculations, the robots won't go berserk for at least 24 hours. <laughs> oh, I forgot to, uh, carry the watch. I take it from that little impressed noise that you are interested in purchasing that matter transporter, sir. Um, two bucks, and it only transports matter. Uh, well, uh, I'll give you 35 cents. Sold, but I must warn you, this device carries a frighteningly high risk of catastrophic... I said I'll take it. Oh, dear God, no! <gasps> Fortunately, we have a plan, Professor Frank. <clears throat> Hi, good evening, ladies. Uh... Wait, Starling! What's the plan? All right, just take your seat, just take your seat. Now, working with former Carter administration officials and military men who were forced into early retirement for various reasons, which we won't go into here, okay, we have planned this defense for the city. As the comet hurdles toward the city, our rocket will intercept it and blow it to smithereens. Why? Oh, dear God, no! Looking for some order. Some order, please, with the eyes forward and the hands neatly folded and the pang of the pang. Mm. Pie is exactly three! <gasps> Hi. Do I detect a note of sarcasm? Are you kidding me? This baby is off the charts. Why? <laughs> the only sarcasm detector. Well, that's a really useful invention. According to the gas chromatograph, the secret ingredient is... Love? Who's been screwing with this thing? Oh, sure, the Frinky Act 7 looks impressive. Don't touch it. But I predict that within 100 years, computers will be twice as powerful, 10,000 times larger, and so expensive that only the five richest kings of Europe will own them. Could it be used for dating? Well, theoretically, yes, but the computer matches would be so perfect as to eliminate the thrill of romantic conquest in her own way. Man, this is happening here. I, I hate to think what's happening in euro itchy and scratchy land. <laughs> Hello? Itchy and Scratchy Land, open for business! Who are you to resist it, huh? Come on, my last paycheck bounced! My children need wine! Gentlemen, your attention, please. 
I am detecting a gigantic amphibious life form. It's 80 meters long, and it's heading this way. Oh, good grief, and it's on my shoe. It's a, a small frog. Just get off. Just get off there. Just get out of it. Get out of it. Stupid machine. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't the monsterometer. It's the frog exaggerator. Right. We studied traffic patterns and found that drivers move the fastest through yellow lights. So now, we just have the red and yellow lights. <laughs> Yay. only I had some place to be. Well, as you can see, I have created a lemon ball so sour, it can only be safely contained in a magnetic field. The candy, known as 77X42, it's great. Where the hell is the candy? I do know. I will now transport Sir Isaac Newton into the modern day. Warning, power failure. Oh, oh, oh sweet, Clayton. Yeah, oh, good God, hey, wait, wait, wait. Uh, ow. Oh, oh, Sir Isaac's legs are hurting. <laughs> oh, sorry I'm late. There was trouble at the lab with the running and the exploding and the crying. One of the monkeys stole the glasses off my head. <laughs> well, oh, no, wait, please, no, please, I have a funny story. If you listen, I even wrote theme music. There, listen. <clears throat> hey, hey. Professor Frank, Professor Frank will make you laugh, will make you think. He likes to run, and then the thing with the <clears throat> person. Ah, oh, boy. That monkey is going to pay. <laughs>